and I need to be. When we found the banger for the drum, then we can, ah, oh, the dog got it. I feel like the dog's taken the knocker <laughs> for the drum. I'll just use this one. Okay, <laughs> that moment That moment hits a bird. <laughs> Namo Amida Bu 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 be able to hear that the dogs also joined in with that part of the service. So the next thing that we do is that we do traditionally we do some walking meditation. We walk slowly around the shrine room, we pass behind the Buddha, looking at our beautiful view across the valley, and then we come round near the uh, road, at the front road in Malvern. And as we walk, we chant the words Amitabha. And Amitabha is another word that means Amida, Amida Buddha. So if you can walk around your room and you'd like to, then feel free to just walk nice and slowly around. Otherwise, just sit with us and chant. And um, once you've got the tune, just join in. Nobody can hear you, so feel free to make mistakes and just allow the peace to settle in.
So this is the part of the service where whoever is celebrant, which is me today and me and Casper take turns, um, say something that hopefully will give you some food for thought, something you can take away. And um, I'm conscious that I've got a, a tough audience today, a mixture of very experienced Buddhist practitioners and people who are here for the first time. Um, and I wasn't sure what I was going to talk about and I saw this stone uh, on the floor in front of me which I'm using as a door stop that says peace. So maybe I'll say something about peace. The the things that we do together, these rituals, this tradition, uh, I sometimes think that it's a bit of a miracle really that anyone comes to these services because it's a strange thing to do. <laughs> it feels like a strange thing to do to put time aside and sit and say the Buddha's name and be quiet and um, walk in circles and do prostrations, which we'll do later, when there are all kinds of other things that are calling for our attention. I don't know about you, but I found that especially since lockdown, there is so much available online. There are so many free festivals and talks and courses and all kinds of things. And they're all calling for our attention all the time. Um, and that we all have a reason for being here this evening or later, if you're watching later, there's something important that is calling us that is pulling us here and it and and it may not be what we expect or what we want but there's some desire for something and that's different for different people um maybe people have done some reading before about buddhism maybe they've already attended buddhist practices maybe um, they there's something about um, the buddhist teachings that are attractive but my experience is that a lot of um, people who turn up, um, that there's something that they, that they don't have that they want and that they haven't been able to find anywhere else. And that's how it was for me, certainly. Um, and I think that one of those things is this. One of those things is a sense of peace maybe a sense of meaning, um, a place where we can feel safe and understood and accepted. All of those things, we have a longing for those things as human beings and it's not always easy to find them. So Buddhism says that we can find these things and we don't have to rely on other people or on ourselves to find them because we can, we can lean into something that's outside of us. 
that has the qualities that we are craving that has those qualities i was speaking of earlier of infinite compassion infinite patience infinite wisdom and that we can lean into this thing that's outside us and begin to experiment with knowing that that is always available to us that that is always there regardless of what else is going on in our lives and in buddhism we call this refuge we call this taking refuge and it's a wonderful thing um, and it's a very difficult thing to talk about or to describe or to um to to give to anyone else i wish i could just kind of <laughs> give you this stone and you could take it and then that was that was it it's as simple as that but it's a it's a mysterious process and it happens really outside of anything that i can say or do um but all you need is a little taste of something to keep you going and and to keep you coming back and it may be that you come back here it'd be wonderful if you did want to come back here it may be that there's another place where where you can find refuge that's more suited to you because different forms of buddhism different forms of religion suit different people but i guess that that's what we're all doing as we gather here together whether we're at our first meeting or whether we're at our 607th we're resting for a little while on a wednesday evening in refuge we're resting in the buddha's compassionate gaze and as we do that repeatedly something gets stronger and stronger some sense of stability of uh, being comforted or consoled um, a place to find wisdom um, that kind of ineffable thing that uh, we feel when we know we're in we're at home we're in we're home somewhere so as we sit in silence in a minute you might want to just notice any parts of you that are calling out for something maybe reassurance or some soothing or some answers or some peace or some love just notice those parts that are calling and show those bits to the buddha show those bits to whatever it is that you see as as kind of personifying infinite love and if it feels okay just allow those bits to be to be, to receive. Namo me debu. Namo me debu. So we start the silent meditation with a chant called Junin, which is quite complicated. So try and follow it if you'd like to. Um, the words are easy. Namo me debu. Oh, <laughs> 
Yeah, me need to be. So the next part of the service is prostrations. And um, usually we'd be in the shrine room and you'd be able to watch what we do, but you won't be able to see much of us as we do them. So um, it's up to you if you want to go down onto the floor or not, but if not, just kind of bow. And the words are um, I need to be with a different tune. So you might be able to see some people on the, on the video doing them. I'm only to be. So we finish with um, evening service, which is on page 13 of the service book, which is, <laughs> I'm not sure how that helps. There we go. Um, so the service book like is I'm on QBC. <laughs> yeah. in the chat box. There's a link to our service book, which you can um, look up if you want. If not, you can just listen this time. It, if you do come to this service regularly, you might want to just print it out 
Uh, now where me to be? Now where me to be? With body, speech, and mind, humbly I prostrate and make offerings, both set out and imagine. I confess my wrong deeds from all time and rejoice in the virtues of all. Please stay until samsara ceases and turn the wheel of dharma for us. I dedicate all virtues to great enlightenment. The ground sprinkled with perfume and spread with flowers. The great mountain, foreland, sun and moon, seen as a Buddha land and offered thus. May all beings enjoy such pure lands. Kirtam Guru Ratma Mandala Kam Niriyatayami By the grace that I receive through Amitabha's vows, may I be moved to deeds for the benefit of all. By the grace that I receive through Amitabha's vows, may I be moved to deeds for the benefit of all. By the grace that I receive through Amitabha's vows, may I be moved to deeds for the benefit of all. The purpose of our practice is to be a pure container wherein the common passions mature as higher wisdom. The preliminary outlook comes with bowing and contrition, facing up to my obstructions and seizing life's first essence. Devotion to my teacher, hence my smugness and dejection, held by his compassion, I will find a straight direction. My refuge bows and precepts, recitation of the sutras. I grow through every challenge, in bodhisattva aspiration. Cooperation in a sangha brings so many joys and freedoms. Through gentle words and gestures comes collective transformation. Settled faith and inner cleansing brings us home to life's great meaning. In the four divine abidings, Buddha's light is always with us. Multitudes are disconcerted by impermanence and difference. With Dharma as true refuge, we dwell within the pure land. Now gratitude is overflowing, going forth, returning richly. I offer gifts of Dharma, Buddha's path, bliss bestowing. Innumerable our sentient beings, we bow to save them all. Inexhaustible our deluded passions, we bow to transform them all. Immeasurable are the Dharma teachings. We bow to master them all. Infinite is the Buddha's way. We bow to fulfill it completely. Invocation of a Kalanata. Hail to the Mandala. Let us so be engulfed within its praises evermore that by our own wills and vigilance may we our fetters come out away. May we within the temple of our own hearts dwell. Amidst the myriad mountains. Hail, hail, hail. In the 
meditation of Mahakala. Let us be engulfed within the sun. Drop the mantra of Buddha. Hail, hail. The arrow of emptiness. Hail, hail. The invocation of Vairochana Buddha. Hail, the beneficent mystic, the treasure. Hail, hail. The golden bell that rings but once. Peace upon the So now we bow to each other, thank each other for being here and practicing with us. And we bow to the Buddha, if you haven't got a Buddha in your room you can bow to our Buddha. Thank you all for joining us this evening. If anyone, we usually just slip away quietly at this point because it's quite tricky to have a conversation on Zoom. We do have an event every Saturday night if you want to, uh, with space for speaking, if you want to come and get to know people. Um, but if you do have a question about anything that's happened this evening or about anything else, I'll hang around um, so you can ask it to me. There's loads of stuff on the website at amidamandala.com and on mm -hmm. the YouTube, YouTube channel, talks, videos, explanations and so on. Yeah, and there's also a free 30-day course on email if anyone wants to practice, um, experiment with doing our practice, which is Nembutsu, just for five or ten minutes a day. So Namo Midabu, goodbye if you're going and do hang around if you've got anything you'd like to ask. I'm going to stop the recording. Namo Midabu.